everybody, welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. We are on episode two of uh, uses for book pages in our journals. We, in episode one, made some tags, so I thought we better make some coordinating um, pockets for the journal. And again, I've got some book pages. <clears throat> Mine, I've got two glued together, just like we did in creating the tags. So I've already done that, and now we are just going to go ahead and decoupage again. <clears throat> Sorry, I thought I had my brush handy, but I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to use the same napkin because <clears throat> this is going to be to coordinate with our tags from the previous uh, video. So I'll link that um, video in the description box. So my thinking is I'm going to get two tags out of this. I will have to trim down, but I just want to get the napkin on there to start, and then we will take it from there. So again, I'm using the Tim Holtz um, matte collage medium. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of trying to visualize where I think I'm going to have to cut this down because my journals I tend to uh, work at about five and a quarter so I know these will have to be trimmed down to fit within that page so I'm just trying to be conscious of that. See, I missed a bit there. I'm happy with that guys. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and dry that. So I will turn the camera off and come back once this is dry. We'll get those cut down and then I'll run them through the machine. So I'll Okay guys, I have dried that now and so I'm just going to cut these, trim them down a bit. Because that's five and a quarter so I'm going to take bit off. I don't want that white too much of that showing. So I'm going to bring them down to four and a half because I think that's that's a large enough for a pocket. <clears throat> I don't want them to get too big. And so let's see if I go about three and three eighths. That, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> So I haven't wasted much, and uh, so that's what I've got there, and then I'm going to have to do some sewing around these, so I'm going to get this trimmed off. Okay, 
Okay. So that's <clears throat> where we're at at the moment. Now I think what I'll do is I'm just going to notch those out with my um, Big Shot. And then that way I can sew. <clears throat> so I will pull the Big Shot over here quickly, guys. Sorry, I'm trying not to bump the camera. Um, if you've got a circle punch, I've got one, but it's only a two inch, I mean a one inch, and it, I do use it, but um, I prefer the two inch, and I just haven't um, gotten one of those yet, so I'm just going to very quickly, I do love these uh, graduated dies, but Sometimes you, you don't want to drag all this out in it. That's where the, the two inch punch is really handy. But make do with what you've got. So I'm just going to do that because I <clears throat> could do this afterwards, but I, I want to get that stitching. So let me just turn this. Okay, so you can see, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn the camera off now, and I'm going to run this through the machine. Okay, guys, I have run this through the machine. Now, you wouldn't have to do this. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could take a, a black marker, and you can just make some little faux stitch lines. I've, that's really easy to, to do. Um, so the next thing I want to do is, again, using the, um, the mica powder that I've mixed up to make my own uh, glimmer mist. Um, this is the Atiza micro, powder, micro powders. Uh, I'm just going to hit these with just a little bit, not much, because I want to have a little bit of that sheen. So let me dry these quickly, and then we can get on to the next step. go with our light again. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, let me see if I've got some little wildflowers. <clears throat> okay, here's my little box of die cuts. a few of these. I'm going to go with some of the brighter colors because I've cut these on um, scrap cardstock that I had and um, it's not often easy to find a way to make use of <clears throat> the brighter colors but this is going to coordinate really nice with these because this napkin's a bit brighter than the colors I normally work with but oh boy how refreshing to have color again. So I am going to just get these glued on.
for that purple is nice. Use that on here. Oh, these are coming out so pretty. I really, really love this napkin. <laughs> I'm going to hate to see it gone. Beautiful. Okay. I really like that green with that. That's very, very pretty. Oh, I do like how those have come out. Okay, one more. What color? What color? What color? I think I'll go with that. Okay, there we go. Sit this out of the way and Ink them up a little bit, not too much. I don't want them to get them too dark, but Okay, so now I feel like I need to have some words, and let me see, these are from my porch prints, and they're um, phrases that she's got in her shop for, that are garden related, so I think that's going to match really nice with this.
I love it when uh, when I can get my hands on these kinds of uh, phrases and words because <clears throat> it really does finish off the um, a project. I keep going to those. These are those Tim Holtz scissors, and ooh, sometimes I like working with them, but um, they got a something on them. It kind of, I mean, they're great for fussy cutting, uh, like flowers, because there's something the way the blade is made. It kind of um, stops. You know how a regular scissor you can overcut. That one's got something that causes it to kind of stop, which is great when, on certain things, but then on this, when you just want to make a nice line, it, yeah, so I tend to switch around between my um, scissors, and then you end up, you know, you always got scissors buried, don't you, when you're working. Gosh, how many times I've got about six pairs of scissors around, and I still can't find any. <laughs> you need to work with so I will be so glad when it's time to um, to start flea marketing again because um, I haven't been for a while now, guys, and the place that we tend to go to, if the weather's not good, it, it doesn't generally end up being a great flea market because it's people who will show up if the weather's bad is it's usually antiques and I'm not into that antiquing um, so I'm so looking forward to the break in the weather so I can get back to um, to go into those I enjoy that so much and even the car boots have been off because of the weather it's just been so rainy and windy if it hasn't been raining, it's been uh, windy, so that um, either way, it's prevented the car booters from getting out. Okay, so I really like how those have come out. I'm very pleased with that. And again, it's just another idea for you to use up those um, book pages, because we've all got a load of them in their, our stash, so I love how those have come out, so then I can just glue them down in the journal, and then... I'll have my tag. Let me grab the tags. <clears throat> I've ended up with an extra pocket, but that's fine because I've only made three of these tags, but I think that's going to look really sweet. I get that um, into the journals. There you go, guys. There's another idea, and I'll be back again soon with some more um, ways to use book pages. Take care. Bye.